Shimshon Eats Jerusalem presents Shimshon's Chanukah Suvkaniya Adventure. Hi guys, this is Shimshon Leshinsky reporting from Jerusalem. We're near the end of Chanukah and we have to do our traditional Chanukah crawl, tasting different delightful donuts. So we've come to the best of the best, the Kadosh Bakery. It's the most expensive, the most glamorous, and they've got about 15 different donuts. We're going to try two today. Started off as a very simple Barakas place about 30, 40 years ago. And then um, about 10 years ago, the younger generation changed the whole thing and made it very glamorous, a kind of French European style. So let's go in there and eat these glamorous donuts. This is our chance to say Lechaim for you and all Amiso. We want a lot of things. We want peace for Israel. We want Hashem guard our soldiers, our hostages, and we went back to stability and normality. Lechaim Hag Sameach. Ooh, strong! Hanukkah, you know, happy Hanukkah for everybody. Celebrate All the Jews are celebrating in Israel. Uh, so we make the donuts here, up top in the glittery. Uh, so we have here putty sierra cream with marmalade. Marmalade? Yeah, marmalade, sorry. Special marmalade, okay. <laughs> Marshmallow with a raspberry and dry raspberry. Marshmallow blackberry. Okay, I have here uh, pavlova. Pavlova with a jam. Pavlova jam. And uh, grapes of meringue. Meringue in it. There's coffee cream. Coffee cream. This is uh, mixed berries. Mixed berries. This is chestnut. Chestnut. With a little donut that cover with caramel. Now that Jim Shon had become acquainted with all the delightful donuts on offer, it was time for him to make his choice. Jim Shon picked out two donuts to sample and see if the quality of Kadosh's Suvganeot lived up to the fancy decor. Should we open the box? Should we live beyond the box? Let's do it. We've taken two out of about 12 or 15. We've got here the pavlova and we've got here the chestnut. It's all very fresh, it's, it's just all happening, it's exciting. A coffee, you need a coffee with that because it's very sweet, these things. And we're doing the mitzvah of celebrating Hanukkah. The place is packed, there's lines to get in, lines for everything, people jostling, and now we're doing it. Let's try the first one. Okay, we're doing the chestnut one now. It certainly looks beautiful, it looks interesting. They have a unique way of packaging it. The competitor, English Cake, tried to make donuts that look the same way, but it didn't taste the same. Wow, they're generous. When I was a boy, it wasn't generous like this. It was just a big bread roll with a tiny teaspoon in it. Okay, we'll try that one. Fresh, delicious. You can taste the chestnuts. Very soft, fresh donut. A nice cream, you know, so... Easily we'll give this a 9 out of 10. Now we'll just try this little topping here. It's got a glazed little roll here on top. So it's a bit of a glaze, it's a bit of a decoration. Quite nice, doesn't really, no chestnutty thing there. But overall now we're going to move to the um, pavlova, which is something from Australia and New Zealand, named pavlova originally was made for a famous ballet dancer. But we need a bit of coffee between, you know, to not to mix the flavours. Now we're moving to the second one, the pavlova. We're cutting it in half here. It's got meringue, it's got some cream, and it's got some jam, so we'll see how that's doing. Quite a nice filling here. I can taste the kind of pavlova feel to it. Delicious. What's Great. Over, overall verdict? This is nine and a half. This is even better than that. So, the um, chestnut was good. The, the chestnut flavor wasn't as dominant as I would have hoped. But really, we've come to the best place. Kadosh is, is 19 shekels for a, a donut. is very expensive, but delicious. So, Chag Stomach, we, we hit the jackpot. You should get here fast, because after Hanukkah, the, the whole donut of Ghania scene dies out. Cold in Jerusalem today. Uh, there's a lot happening. We're doing donuts, Sufkaniyat tastings, just as Hanukkah nearly finishes. And it's a festival about bringing their light where there's darkness. And Israel has gone through terrible times, traumatic times, probably the most traumatic since the state of Israel was established. Uh, but there is hope, there's people helping each other, there's people together. And uh, of course there's restaurants and food, as Jews always need good food. We've had our latkes, we've had our donuts, we've had our sfinch. 
Um, so I'm feeling positive about the future of Israel. So we look at the past and we look at the future, it's all connected as Jews. And we feel that this, uh, there is light, that there was darkness. And we've had a terrible catastrophe, but um, I believe in Israel, I believe in the Israeli army. And even though a lot of the politicians are problematic, overall the people um, know what to do to run this country the way it should be run. So I'm Israel Chai, we're hoping for the good future. in my opinion one of the amazing places they do interesting donuts fresh beautiful colors and flavors they're very popular sometimes you can't get in here I've had this one I've had this the regular strawberry and I've had the regular um, caramel and they both were fantastic I, I, in fact I bought a hundred early this week this donuts picked out Shimshon was ready for a second round of reviews we've got two here We've got the gold one and we've got the chocolate one. It's got fancy ingredients, fancy names. We'll try a little bit of each. Ferrero Rocher or the gold nut. What do you want to start with? Uh, Ferrero Rocher. Okay. Okay. Ferrero Rocher is a chocolate which is very pop popular in Israel. It comes from Italy originally, and um, the, also the Nutella chocolate spread comes from the same factory. It's chocolate and hazelnuts. So we're going to try a bit of this. It looks amazing, it really. For chocolate lovers like me, this is paradise. Oh, it's going to be messy, this one. It's hard to cut. Oh, there's different things inside as well. That's the thing about uh, Roller Din. They put lots of different things in it, different spreads. There's about five different ingredients in here. So we'll try this and see what happens. Soft, fresh donut. Lots of different chocolates and nuts and, and layers and spreads. Very sophisticated, so... Definitely I'm going to have to go for the 9 and a half out of 10 as well. In fact, no, 9 and a half out of 10, the pistachio one was even better I've had here before. Donut 2. Okay, now we've got here, it's a gold nut one. The owner, Asher, recommended it, so we're going to cut it inside and see what we get here. These donuts are very sophisticated, with lots of layers, lots of different things. Not as much filling as I would have expected from a roller din donut. Ooh, in that's fact, delicious. yeah, in fact, it doesn't look like there's enough filling here. This could cost them the Sufgania victory. That's right. I mean, they're fighting. Oh, there's a bit more here, but not enough. I think they should have been more generous, like in the other ones. We'll try this one. There's nuts and cream, but quite got a custard sauce into it, but not enough filling, you know. Somebody um, stacked off. Somebody had too much to drink the night before, I think. <laughs> so, it's still decent, it's still nice, but it's gonna go down to an eight. So four Sufgani out later, and the result of Shimchon's crazy donut extravaganza are in. Kadosh got a 9 and a 9.5 from the food reviewer, giving it a total of 18.5. Roladin got off to a great start with 9.5 on its first Sufgani but fell down on donut number 2, which according to Shimshon just didn't have quite enough filling, giving it a total score of 17.5. The victor in the Jerusalem donut runoff for Hanukkah 5784 is none other than Kadosh Cafe. Okay, so be well. Chag Sameach.